What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be celebrating Justin Westhoff's 250th AFL game. I'm going to be telling you my top 5 favourite moments from over his career and I tell you what, there has been many to choose from but it's certainly been nailed down and I think, I think you can tell which ones there will be because there's so many standouts but let me know in the comments below your favorite Justin Westhoff moments and let's get right into my top five. Number five on the list for my favorite Justin Westhoff moment uh, would have to be as soon as last year around 14 against Melbourne we were um, in a very tough scrap for the win and it was going to solidify our top four spot before uh, you know what happened but um, there was a specific moment in the game where Dan Houston bashed the ball outside of 50 in our defensive half and Justin Westhoff took a fantastic mark on the wing where eventually he got a 50 meter penalty and he had a 50 meter uh, shot on goal and you know it speaks for itself he slotted it from 50 celebrated hard and put us over Melbourne by 10 points um, and you know what to be a part of that was such a special win and for me that stood out for Justin Westhoff to you know, show his resilience over what has been a sensational career. It's Hogan with a chance. Houston read it well. And then spirals the ball to Westhoff, who takes a wonderful mark and 50. 15 gone, Justin. So he gets his 30 plus the time to walk there. So Westhoff, I reckon he's within range here. Justin Westhoff, good looking kick, got it. 11 point lead, he's got a couple. Number four, now this was, uh, I'm taking you back to 2013, round two against GWS, very early in the Ken Hinckley era. Justin Westhoff was reborn. Kicked five goals in this game, but it was one particular goal he kicked from a screamer of a mark right in front of me that um, is pictured in my mind forever. He took one of the best hangers I've ever seen uh, in a big pack, and I'll tell you what, the crowd went wild. And he's been always he's always been a fantastic marker of the footy, Seeing him reborn in the Ken Hinckley era, he just flew. And you know what? The beard was brewing then as well. And we can't forget the beard because it's simply mesmerizing. It's just gorgeous. The mark was sensational as well. Takes the mark, looks inside. Now forced to kick long. Schultz waits underneath. And West off! Oh, he's out of This hasn't been that great either when he has had the footy. But tonight he's... Not only getting plenty and taking lots of marks and all, all those aspects of the game, but his kicking efficiency is at 83%, which is excellent. Halfway through the first or second quarter, he kicks his second goal. Coming back to him a little bit earlier in the present now, it's 2017. I'm taking you over to China, and Justin Westhoff is in the boundary line. It's a Shanghai special, as Bruce McAvaney described it. Simply phenomenal to see Justin Westhoff basically punt the ball mid-air and put it across his body and you know, bounces into a goal. It was a dribble kick, but it wasn't exactly a dribble kick. It's more like a half volley. But it was certainly one of the best goals I've ever seen. Uh, and just, <laughs> Justin Westhoff is, is so, so mercurial. It's as simple as that. He's just one of a kind. And um, <laughs> these, these types of moments that you just think, sit there and think, how did he do that? How? What? From, yeah, it, there's no other way to describe it, really. How? Port also can fluctuate, but the teams that have beaten this year have been very high on the ladder. West off, West off. Oh, I don't, don't believe it. A Shanghai special. Let's have a look at this on the back. Well, Confu well, Confucius say impossible. Well, I think uh, <laughs> that, it's clearly not impossible, but not very repeatable. We're used to making outlandish statements, but that is the best goal I've ever seen in China. <laughs> All right, we're going back to 2013 now. Justin Westhoff um, kicked one of the best goals ever in AFL history, without a doubt. You know, this is in a final. It's against Geelong. Geelong are running away with the game. The season's all but over. And what he kick-started was a mini comeback, which gave all of us Port fans a little bit of hope that we might be moving into a prelim final. And I don't know how he kicked this goal. This is a miracle. A check side, Boonana outside. Uh, I think it was about 45, 50 metre mark, and he's kicked it on the outside of his foot, on the opposite side of the ground, and it's gone oath over the goal umpire's head. It, <laughs> I don't know how Justin Westhoff does it, to be honest, and that is one of the best goals I've ever seen, um, and I think it's most people's best goal. 
Simple as that. So hats off to Justin Westhoff. Taylor was the target. Bokes got the football. Back come Port again. Broadbent. Searing hand pass on the bounce to the pocket. Westhoff! Oh. Westhoff! Oh. Westhoff! Oh. West Remarkable goal. His third. But it seems time will beat them. Number one. This is my favourite Justin Westhoff moment of all time. He is... You know, the way he started his career was sensational in 2007. He just came onto the scene um, as a big, lanky bloke who you didn't really predict how, you know, he was going to pan out. He's a pick 71 in the draft. He's one of the best, best pickups in the history of drafting. Um, so late is what I'm saying. But pick 71, and this bloke comes onto the scene. He kicks 30-odd goals in his debut year. He's playing his first final series against West Coast at home in front of 45,000 fans. In the last quarter, he takes a one-handed mark from a setup from Pettigrew in the middle, and he just he kicks the goal. But what he did after the goal is what's really rememberable. Pettigrew, former Perth boy, running oh, down the wall, half forward, strong shepherd up the ball, spots two men. Oh, 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 the wrong man went for it, but what a mark. Westhoff. Oh, he put out the gloves in the outfield and just plucked it. He needed to mark it because it wasn't intended for him. What about the shepherd here by the captain, Treadray? And it's the hard stuff that he's done all night. <laughs> oh, Westhoff. He's a cold hero already. They love him. Just imagine next season he'll have shoulders and he comes. <laughs> and he kicks oh, oh, oh. it. Done the chainsaw. That could just about be it. The chainsaw to the crowd. This is an 18-year-old kid chainsawing in a final. You knew then he was he's going to he's going he was going to propel himself into an almighty career. He did stumble after those years until about the Ken Hinckley era, and then he really showed his true worth. And now he's just one of the best um, utilities in the game. He's so unsung, and that's why Justin Westhoff will be will go down as a Port Adelaide legend. He's the best and fairest winner. And I think, you know, this is just... 250 games, I really hope we win for him because, honestly, he hasn't won, a, hasn't won a milestone game and he's coming into his later stages of his career. It'd be nice to win for his 250th and, hell, he may even go after Kane Corns' record for 300 games. Um, that would be nice. The beard gets to 300. He's just so unsung. And, you know, to credit to Justin, his longevity in his career... Uh, is really respectable, and I'm, I really hope he gets the job done this weekend. And you know what? He deserves a Premiership medallion, so hopefully that comes soon too. Thank you so much for watching, Port fans. Let me know in the comments below your favourite Justin Westhoff moment. He's just one of those players you just love. Um, Humphrey B. Bear is his nickname, and you know what? Yeah, that beard is gorgeous, by the way. Just, oh, I can't even grow one properly, and he's there going with full beard going down his neck. Thank you so much for watching, Port fans. Make sure you subscribe for plenty more Port Adelaide content coming your way throughout 2019. I'll see you next week after the big game against Carlton. My name's Anthony, and as always, come on the pitch.